Hi everybody, I'm Cindy Cowan. The industry has spoken and we've heard your calls for diversity and inclusion. And you can find it here every week as we showcase the selections from hundreds of submissions that we're receiving for the Omnicultural TV Fest. In this week's show, meet our filmmakers Anna Arias and actor Yancy Arias with their unscripted docu-series Pregnish. It's based on their personal journey from IVF to parenthood. Introducing Yancy Arias. You'll give them everything you have inside you. Your heart, your guts, your... We were being chased by the men who shot me and that poor young lady. Who shot you? Got it there. Then imagine what we could do together to mend our histories, to bring black and brown together. Here's your host, Kiki Melendez. One of our official selections oh. of the Omnicultural TV Fest with their project, their unscripted series oh. called Pregnish. A journey. A journey from A through Z. Uh, through IVF and into parenthood. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and you guys really, really, um, this is such a beautiful project because I know so many, so many people that, you know, that actually go through this journey. But first I want people to get to know you. Yancy Arias is one of America's leading actors. He started with a show- Kingpin on NBC. Which was ahead of its time, remember? It was right. uh, the first show that really dealt with the drug dealing world and all that stuff. And, right. and right. You, start, you literally were the one to break into that and to really yeah. uh, show us uh, what that yeah. world was we like. We were the first on the moon in the network uh, land in terms of the, the narco shows, yeah. <laughs> exactly, for sure. I was so proud. I remember that I was living in New York and I saw you and I'm like, oh my God, there's a Latino and a lead role. It was so amazing, you know? <laughs> thanks, and thanks. Then you were also on Cesar Chavez. You are the most recently Queen of the South. Right, um, thank you. And you have a music video. Let's look at that for a minute there. You're, you're oh, yes, yes. I know it's hard to see with all the clouds around the sun You can get close to me, a little love won't hurt anyone First time in a long while, so nice to see your smile You opened up your mind and now, that's the start of letting go just one love. Yes, that, that was a, a wonderful thing. We actually shot in this park right here. Awesome. <laughs> right behind awesome. us. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes are watering here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Just One Love. You can, you can listen to it on Spotify, Amazon, uh, iTunes, everywhere. Just Who one knew love. that you were a, 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 a pop star? Nobody knew you were. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. It goes back triple to my threat, right? triple threat. Yeah, it, it goes back to my days of being on Broadway, singing and, you know, going to school yeah. for singing and, and uh, you know, it's part of, a big part of my life. And I'm just, I'm just tapping into it now, especially with the children. You right. know, we've been wanting to have children a long time and we're finally here. We have our kids and it was a long journey and that's, that's the inspiration for Pregnish. Yeah, uh, and, and Anna, Anna had her own shop. I remember when I used to live in uh, Studio City, she had a beautiful yeah. shop, uh, um, a, uh, what do you call it? It was a uh, sportswear, sportswear. Sportswear, yeah. Yeah, it was Body awesome. Rock. You did really good with that shop, didn't you, girl? Yeah, we, we had, had uh, Billy Blanks right next door. Remember? We had Billy Blanks right next door. That's right, and uh, we, the, the girls like, would be sweating and, and you know coming into the store, <laughs> buying stuff. It was great. <laughs> uh, so, so tell me a little bit about about your project IVF. 
I know that you know you wanted to do this project because you knew that so many uh, couples like yourselves have struggled with whether you know to do it or or not wanting to share their stories because they might be embarrassed to or yeah. whatever. What what motivated and inspired you? to do this so that you can sort of help others? Well, you know, the fact that I think that it was from a male perspective from us, like we had male in infertility. Oh my gosh, she's climbing. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of guys don't want to talk about, babe, she's climbing. She can fall and hit her head. <laughs> and there is no emergency room right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. I, so um, I think that was. What, what, one of the things that, that we always, uh, you know, as, as men, we always wonder, okay, like, you know, at, at what age uh, do we stop having children, you know? And I, I was career, career, career for a long time. And finally, in my later years, in my 40s, you know, I was like, all right, it's time. And, you know, and, and then I find out that my swimmers are slow. So I'm like, oh, my goodness, and that's crazy. For, for men, it's really hard talking about this, especially for a guy like Yancey. He only portrays these really, yeah, baby, come here. Really hardcore guys. Oh, hardcore guys, you know, like, <laughs> And, I, you know, and men don't really want to talk about it. That's like, no, the, that's yeah. like this, the hardest thing to talk about well, when, for them. When you find out, when you find out there's she eight million... She wants million, to breastfeed right now. She wants to breastfeed. All right, I'm going to turn the camera on. I'll move it. <laughs> hey, we don't mind breastfeeding. No, no, this. No, no freebies. No freebies. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. She's in. She's in. All right. So basically, uh, you know, when you find out, like we did, that there were like, you know, five to eight million couples a year in this country alone that were dealing with fertility issues, both men and women, you know, you, you get to the point where like, you know what, there's, there's just not enough support out there. And we decided we want to support people. We want to support people as best as we can that are yeah. going through this. We went through a pretty long journey of two or three years. And, uh, and uh, actually, we're here Bella, with our come dog. Here. Come here, Bella. Come here, there's Bella. Hey, Bella. Oh, you even have a dog. You have a dog too. You have two cute children yeah. and a cute yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, guys, are too, you're too much eye candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah, family of five. That's right. Bella, oh, that's Giancarlo, so cute. Giovanna. She's literally stripping my clothes. And, right and, now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and she's and okay. Giovanna is very demanding. She's All the guys best. watching are like, go Giovanna, go Giovanna. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So yeah, so you know, so we like we just wanted to give support to so many families out there that or so many couples that are trying to have families, like we were. And uh, we finally have ours, but our mission's not over. You know, just because we have our family doesn't mean that you know, we don't want to, you know, help others have their families. We, we want everybody experienced what we experienced. You know, those of us, it's a, it's a funny thing, a weird thing, but a lot of people in the entertainment industry, you know, they start late like us, you know, and, and then they oh, find yeah. out, oh my goodness, I, you know, we have to do uh, a couple of things, a couple of, we have need a little help to get there. So, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, when we were going through it, we didn't find enough um, support uh, in terms yeah. of like what, you know, what, what can we listen to? What can we watch? You know, like we just wanted to be um, feel like someone else was going through it as well. Like right, because when I was sitting in the office with my with my uh, urologist, there was a there was a marine sitting right in front of me, and I was like, man, it doesn't get tougher than that. You know, he was like, <laughs> full, you know, and I'm sitting, and he's in full uniform, dress, full dress uniform. And I literally just saluted him. I was like, thank you for your service. We're not alone in this. Let's go do this, man. <laughs> Let's go do this. But they say, don't, that, ju don't judge the size by the cover. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's, I was talking to um, Tasha Blasi, and she was like, my husband had the same issue. Yeah. You know? And it's like, it doesn't mean, you know, that, that their thing doesn't work. You know, it works. Well, everything it works, works perfectly. It's, it's just, just a little help to get to the help. babies. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Making the, I mean, that's the, there was a lot of talk about our diet and things that we're putting in our food. Environmental. I mean, yep. Environmental. It's a lot of that, you yep. know, that really oh, yeah. those things. Even now they're saying that there's so many like uh, things like the water, this and that, that's causing that kind of stuff. Oh, it's, it's uh, insane. It's so insane. It's and insane. And it's not just this country. country. It's all over the world. It's exactly. all over the world. So, you know, yeah. I mean, we're talking about millions upon millions of couples trying. And, you know, we, we all need a little bit of help. And, yeah, you know, and I think at the end of the day, right, like, you know, when we when we make this 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 video or, or the, the documentary, rather, you know, you, you want to you want to kind of just give us well, we wanted to give a lighthearted version of, of our, our experience. We didn't we didn't want, you know, people to get all depressed and, you know, cry and everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. There's there's a couple of things that we watched that that were, were tear jerkers for sure. But. But we don't, our, our approach is like, let's have fun about it. Just let's be a warrior about it. Let's you be know, a warrior. Let's you have get it done. the problem. There's a lot of 
doctors out there that can help you. So why not get help? But the problem is that insurances don't cover it. Oh, so yeah. if you don't have $30,000 a pop to do this, you can't have a baby. And no. that's- I love the series. I really love the series because you guys are going to touch upon different couples and their backstory and, uh -huh. and, and all of the- Doctors, uh, specialists, all the people that we need to talk to. So I that want it to be like IVF, you know, infertility for dummies. Everybody that just started <laughs> and they don't know what to expect, you know, right. like I didn't know what to expect. Right. So that, that's a great way to put it, like infertility for dummies. Because no, these, well, girl, honey, these girls go of, into this and they go into round 10 well, because yeah. they don't know what to ask. Well, the truth is like a lot of people are sensitive about what to ask. You know, some people are not sure, like, like they don't want to face the, the, the reality of that. We have to go through this and we have to spend this amount of money, you know, yeah. to get uh, to this point where so many people just have kids and you yeah, know but for the doctors it's 20,000 a pop so every time wow. they get wrong wow. you know right. I just want to try to help them now tell me out. you guys yeah. worked really hard to have kids are you going freaking crazy now <laughs> with two times we're going freaking crazy oh, we got right. one hour of sleep it's like night. it's like you know they say be careful what you want and you know you got yeah. two oh. toddlers now during a <laughs> pandemic stuck up all out night last month. night yeah yeah. yeah, she was up all night last night. We had to swap, you know, times and stuff like that. And, you when know, she just decided not to sleep last night. Yeah. Oh, like, my God. Oh, my God. My eyes are like yeah. watering right now. But ultimately, you know, like every time they do something that's a little bit, you know, like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Like, you just say, thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God, God, for our problems. I am very proud of you guys because I know how much love and passion you put yeah. into your family. And you are probably the best parents yeah. I know because yeah. you totally, you know, you dedicate your whole life to your kids and they're going to be a blessing for you. And um, it's just so great that you have a girl and a boy. I always wanted a boy. I have two girls, but I always wanted a boy. You're so blessed to have to have one of each it's such a blessing you know and so tell me about the future guys what do you see i love this project i am very um i am very proud that you guys got accepted to omnicultural tfs you're an official selection uh, many hundreds of projects came to to us and you are um an official selection so what do you see for this project? i personally see it as a, as an undoc like a docu-series a docu-series okay. you know i i really think it has a lot of legs i think people would participate it would for be sure. great you know to be able to like get pay for their treatment if they participate in the series oh, that would be like a dream especially you know? lower income families kiki like people who we we think this is a rich and famous problem no. you know we think exactly. this is kardashians and it's not exactly. you know there's a lot like, of people I can that only need help. imagine people who don't have the money who just exactly. can't. Exactly. Our goal, our goal with a show like this every season is by the end of the season that we actually walked a, a couple through the whole adventure and exactly. paid, paid for their procedure. But I want those that can't do it that if it wasn't for this they would never be able to have it would be a beautiful thing it would be such a beautiful thing so you'd yeah. be doing something so positive you yeah. know for for like the the world and the people out there that's what i love about projects that are not just to you know show off or to you know uh, beat each other up or, right, or whatever. Right. It, it's a project that actually uh, you know does a positive thing for the for the community you know and I would, I would know exactly and we know a lot of couples that went through it and you know they were they're very willing to share their stories so we're excited to get them on yeah. you know and, and go through their journey as well from season to season so exactly. we're you know and can you imagine like you go see after they have the kid then you can oh actually my follow God. it's yeah. like you can have a whole season of just following up on everybody from season one you know what exactly. i'm saying I really love this project and I'm really excited that we're going to be showcasing it at Omnicultural TV Fest. And what other projects are you guys um, working on, you know? Well right, well, right now in COVID world that we're in, you know, we're actually starting off getting the conversation going. We want to stay creative. So we actually started a blog. My wife, not, not a blog, blog a I'm sorry, a podcast. My wife uh, decided, hey, you know what? Let's start let's a podcast. Let's just start it. Let's so just do it. It's called Pregnant, and it'll be running uh, very soon. Like in a few weeks, we'll have it up and uh, we'll start the conversations that way and, and engage the audience. And, you know, and hopefully by the time that we actually get this series on the air, you know, we can, uh, we can, we can somehow uh, awesome. all of that yeah. into the to From TV audio series. to visual. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy. And yes, CIS is going to be. Give it to the me, baby. Of 
Angeles and La in uh, LA's finest. <laughs> You can piece that out there. We cannot stand being being in this pandemic. You just let us out. I need to get my nails done. I need to get my eyebrows, you know, <laughs> waxed. <laughs> you look beautiful. You, you look, look amazing. Beautiful. You look like you came from a salon. I swear, yeah. We have a woman who's breastfeeding while we're selling an IVF show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me how you're handling this pandemic. Well, I tell you, you know, it's a wonderful time in, in the respect that families get together and now mm -hmm. are really getting to know their families and their children and what, you know, especially the ones that work from nine to five in the offices and whatnot. Um, I know for a lot of families, it could be challenging, especially when the kids are older and their schoolwork is a little bit more complex and everybody has to go back to school. So yeah. there's something really great about that as well, because you get to relearn things, you know, and when you stop learning, you stop living. So, you know, this is actually, a, a, you know, a, a, a weird blessing in disguise, you know. It's people a time to there. reflect, I think, yeah. also, and then just see what really matters in life. I feel like people are going to be more interested in people rather than interested in their electronics. Or it's because interesting. we miss each other, you know. People, are, like, people we are want, we want to connect. Yeah, yeah. People are more forced to live in the now, you know. And I mean, unfortunately, we all lost somebody. I, I, it's got to that point where everybody knows someone. I, I lost an uncle. I lost uh, some of my friends. Lost their family. It's, it's a tough time, but at the same time, you know, we're, we're, we're resilient and uh, the world understands that we, we got to, most of the world understands that we, we got to do this for each other. And with that, you know, we stay creative and, and those of us in the creative uh, world and trying to create our own content, uh, we understand that too. We want to tell stories. We're writing. My wife came up with a beautiful line of, 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 of t-shirts. and So while we were home with the kids during the pandemic, we wanted to bring something positive to our friends and families. So we decided to come out with these little hoodies that says everything is going to be all right so that we can create love in our neighborhood and we can create hope. And we also came out with these masks that are little animal faces so that our kids would be inspired to wear masks and be safe so we have an instagram account we hard earth forever and there's a little link on the bio that you can go into an itsy store and purchase any of these items and we just it's a bunch of moms that got together and we make all these with our hands and it's made with a lot of love because i feel like if you teach them at a young, younger age they're going to grow up to be nicer humans you know yeah and it's it, all eco-friendly fabric eco fabrics. made in los angeles we're going to give a portion uh each uh, sale to, to donate an to an organization called, called 40 Ocean. Which 40 Ocean. 40 Ocean, sweetheart. Oh, sorry. 40. Yeah, 40 <laughs> Ocean. And for every um, time that we buy a bracelet from them, one pound of litter is clean from the oceans. Wow, we, that's awesome. You know, we want to be able to, for every uh, sale above $100, we haven't decided exactly, we're going to give a bracelet which helps clean the oceans. Awesome. So, what is it like when you create something, when you come up yeah. with an idea, um, just tell me what it takes for you to actually go out there and shoot it. Like, what do you have to, like, what what, what mindset do you have to be on? You know. Well, the number one, the number one mindset. Good, good, thank you. The number, the number one mindset is about the the, the, uh, the message, right? Uh, who are we helping? Who are we, who are we trying to reach out to? Who are we trying to educate? Who are we trying to entertain at the same time? So once you understand that that story, that script is solid, right, and it's going to make an impact, yeah. then you know, okay, you can get your crew and you can get all the people together on the same page, on the same crusade, you see? Okay. So it's all about that script. That script is number one. Then you get the whole team together and say, you believe in this? Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's rock the world right now. Let's, let's, like let's make a story that people, that change lives, you know? So ultimately that was what comes down to it. And if you're, if you're making a super entertaining film, like all the Marvels, that's all good, and, you know, but you know, then you got to put all those creative minds and say, okay, let's tell a story, but let's wow everybody with all the crazy technology we have, right? So, yeah. but ultimately, you know, especially in, in, in my situation where we're doing, you know, indie films and indie projects and developing new stuff and new content, you know, we have to think mindfully, uh, not just on what's going on today in the world, um, uh, but also how do we do, how do we do the project in an economical way? You know, okay. uh, so, so that's another big part of the problem, yeah. you know, as I'm writing, like for, for now, I, I actually am writing a script. And as I write it, I'm considering all of those aspects, like, you know, the, the budget and, you know, if, how much money I think I can raise for the film. And, you know, it's so. It's so hard to get money, right? Isn't it hard to get money to, to do your stuff, right? 
it is it is it is hard to get money but i think that again if you have a great script i think that people will, will rally around it and then you can do what you need to do even if you have to go the crowdfunding way yeah well listen guys i see that you're having a beautiful day with the family uh yeah, thank yeah. you so thank much for taking time and joining thank you, our TV. virtual no event show thank, thank you on the cultural tv fest <laughs> Come watch our show, Pregnish. Pregnish. This is Yancy Arias. Is, this is Anna Arias, my son Giancarlo, my daughter, the little, the little Giovanna Indiana Jones over there. Join our partners for NAPTI Streaming Plus. Welcome to NAPTI Streaming Plus. The one thing you can't stream is networking. It's a networking event. We want to create a community of streamers. We want it to be their event. It is um, a great opportunity to be doing this on a streaming platform. You are now part of a community of people that are learning something together, engaging new information. These are the people you want access to. You want to hear what they have to say.